here is the Handy Bright Foldable. I just call it Handy Bright Foldable, uh, but the real name is actually called Handy Bright Foldable Work Light, which I'm just gonna call it the Handy Bright Foldable because it makes more sense. But this is when this is new, brand new from here, Handy Bright. I think it was like, I think, I think it was released. I was released I think a week ago and into the rest. I mean stores, not restaurants, and stores. And I and this guy retails about 1995, I believe, or 1998. And you can see, ultra bright, a thousand lumens, LED cordless folding work light. And look at this; it's USB rechargeable. And look at this; it folds. That's very neat. It folds, and it's and it's and it's like one of those uh work like work lights, like not really like those work lights, like those. I call it a uh, warehouse lights they have they have in the on the in the basically in the ceiling like those lights and yeah, 72 ultra bright LEDs two lighting modes high and ultra high and it's just we are chargeable so look at the back I haven't unboxed this yet I just barely got it um of course it comes with a USB I mean micro USB cord and it has a hook, which this is a very different hook. It's like a different one. It's like a thing, like a solid hook. And you fold it at use. And yeah, and it shows how uh, how, the, how you can actually use it. Great for emergencies, car repairs, camping, fishing, hunting, hiking, and more. Basically, a lot of things. And yeah, so let's go get unboxing. So, so I think I found I bought this guy at Home Depot. And oh, let me, I have to do this way. Hold on. All right, got him out. Look at that, handy bright foldable. He didn't come out with this. He came out like this. Like I was like playing around with him a little bit. And you see, it's like kind of like a work light, like like a light where you have a light in a warehouse. And they like we have it like this, like high in the basically in the ceiling. And then you see us have these two right here, and I get, I can tell it's just there's a cut in the middle right here. Well, that's that's fine, but I re I, re I kind of like recommend having the the light strip going all the way here and then cuts and it cuts out here to. Like all the way right here, like, but I guess that's fine. That's that's fine for me. But what I'm kind of concerned of this of the LEDs getting too hot while you're actually using it, and if you touch the a, a, a LED strip, you can actually kind of burn yourself, I believe, because that's what happened to my Handy Bright Ultra when I touched the lights. It didn't really burn me. It was very high. It was very hot. So I'm kind of concerned if. This one will have basically the lights will be very hot on this one, but so here it is the Handy Bright foldable. And you can see, you can see right here that it has a little hook, it has a hook right here, which is actually very, it's actually thick, and you can actually uh, adjust it to whatever, like how you like it, like right here, right there, all the way down. Or even have it like this hanging on the the or the hook you have on your ceiling or basically anything actually. And you have these holes to hold it, thing it against the wall. That's actually pretty neat. And that's very neat because some some of us actually have we'll call it um like nails on the uh, on our under walls and we want and we and we can wish it hang, we can hang a light on there. Well, we can because you have these holes here for the nails, I believe. So yeah. And the hook will work too, but it has to be like I think, think the nails have to be a little longer so I can actually hold on. But but what I'm actually kind of concerned of is these light strips, I think being too hot, because I think when I, when I start using this, these light strips will be getting hot, and when I touch them, I believe it's going to get extremely hot. I actually might burn my fingers. I don't think it will burn my fingers, but it might just like. 
sting me like ow it hurts so yeah and you can see these screws are fake they're just plastic and then i'm doing some research of the battery life on this and believe it or not in the instructions here i think it says right here wait it should say where is it right here Handy Bright needs to be about 90 minutes fully charged. Battery should last about three hours. So, three hours of using this light and then it'll die. Which I think that actually takes off. Uh, actually takes off like pulls off a lot of things. Like, like what happens if you're using this? Like you're camping, you could use this for longer than thir three hours. Might as well prepare for a battery bank that recharges light. So. Yeah, that's like that's that's the things they pulled off, but that's fine. And the battery here is two thousand two hundred milliamp hours and it's three point seven volts. And LED cordless folding work light. It's just not handy. It just it didn't include handy bright in there. So yeah, and you can fold this. You can fold it all the way here, all the way like that, all the way like this. All the way down, you can fold it all the way up like this, or just have it like a like a sandwich like this. So yeah, and and already and it's already charged. Wait, it says look, it's in the instructions. It says that the light comes fully charged already, which I'm gonna test right now, and can connect this to the wall. And see will they charge so and it also comes with its cord if you're wondering if it ever comes with a cord yes it does so i can test the charging right now it's been like an hour when i plug this thing in and you can see the red light is solid which means it's fully charged so it's been like an hour like basically like i think an hour i believe or 20 minutes. I think, like, I think, I think it's because it took like, like not even long. It took like a little short amount of time because uh, the area was like basically purposely charged by the factory. So we could just remove this USB micro USB cord and we can test this thing out fully charged and it has a little flap. Which the flap they actually fixed the flap. Instead of being too loose, they actually fixed it to be like a little tight. So you don't have to worry about the flap like pulling off anytime soon because of once again that plastic is around it so it prevents from the flap from opening when you're using it. So yeah. And we can actually get actually can turn this on and uh basically like almost right now, so <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this on and it has like two modes. Yeah, oops, wrong side, sorry. And here it has two modes. And in the box they claim it has two modes, a uh, high and ultra high, which I don't know if you find out the case because it says low and high and then middle of the off. So let's go try it the the flat way by having us flat it out like this. And have the switch here. Let's go start with low. And you can see it's actually bright. And you can see it's like it uses like my work light like this. I should start doing videos having the light like this. So you can see the box when I review like much like much higher, like brighter so you can see it. So yeah, I'm that's slow and I'll try high. And it's a it's a it's a little brighter. I don't want to call that super bright, but, well, hey, it's something, though. I wish it just got super, like, super dim to super, super bright, but, sadly, it just, it just gets, like, high into, like, a little bit high, and that's it. I wish, I wish they had, they should have, they should have added to, like, like, dim to super bright. I think that would make a difference under lighting. I'm not too dim though, just a little dim. And of course, 
it comes with a coupon here. If I can get it. It comes with a coupon. Which says thank you to go to this website. To get your 20% off. And I'm going to start using the light outside at night. And show you how really luminous the area. Well, I'll probably say it actually does a very, very good job lining the area. I'm walking in the sidewalk of a playground. And you can see the bunch of frogs in the background. And here's the uh, bathrooms there. And you can see, see a lot, like, all the way here. here. You probably can see that in the back right there without just, you see it's dark. You can see that wasp hive there too. You see a lot of things here by using this light. And the high pressure lamp is, doesn't work. The good transformer doesn't want to work, but, but this thing illuminates it pretty good actually. Especially being a thousand lumens. Yeah, it does what hell to claim any and I actually found you can actually hold it like this. Those two holes in the back of that. Yeah. I think you spread them wide, like wide too. So yeah. That's more illuminates a lot in the bottom too. And low is just a little dimmer. It's just like a regular like light. I can't switch it. I need to turn on my phone and switch it. But but that's a light. That's a review. This is very a review. Shines pretty. Shines pretty like bright. You can see that. You can see there. So like you see that over there and yeah, that especially for that small light. You can see it over there. So pretty, pretty bright. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts of the Henny Bright Foldable. And why well, I think why well, I think when I used it, it was actually did a actually did a good job. It did it held up to its claim. But what I rec what well, what I recommend for them to actually do if they're gonna release another one, this like the Henny the Henny Bright Foldable Ultra or I don't know I don't know if they're gonna ever get to come out with that. But the Henny Bright Foldable is to add more hours of life of lifetime on the battery on this on this light because I think it originally just die in about like two two hours and thirty minutes. So what I recommend them doing is adding a bigger battery in there and possibly it'll raise up the cost of the light, of course, because of the lithium ion cells in there. So yes, and another thing is to have. What I recommend is trying to make the hook into the middle and having the same way you have here. That has a little, a little compartment so we're not getting in the way of anything. And another thing is, 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 is to Ontel, the company that makes these products, Ontel, Ontel, can you please start using USB-C? I know on your, oh sorry. On, on the uh, Arctic Air Pure Chill 2.0, you you added a USB C, but eventually you did not add USB C to Handy Bright. You just put USB a uh, micro USB. So what I recommend what I recommend for you guys trying to do is to add USB C on here. I'm just talking to Ontel if they're if they're gonna watch this video. Ever I don't I doubt I doubt they're gonna watch this video, but still. But a thousand lumens. Where, well, why trying to mark this up to two thousand lumens? I don't think that would be impossible. But hey, it's a, it'd be a challenge to make this two thousand lumens. Well, I think well, I think if they're ever gonna release another one, uh, mo another model of this of this handy bright foldable is to add a lot more LEDs in these two sides. So it'll be two thousand lumens. So one thousand lumen each. So it'll be 2,000 lumens. And I'll be a lot cooler and a lot better light to basically have around. So yeah, that's my handy bright 
Uh, that's a handy bright foldable review for you guys watching out there. And stay tuned for more reviews and more cool stuff because I think I think I have like almost a little bit of things planned. Because and I thought I don't have that much things to plan around here because I usually don't go shopping that much because because I'm mostly just wanting to take a break sometimes. So yeah, like and subscribe, stay tuned to this channel, and yeah, goodbye. And post and post in the comments what you think about this light, and goodbye.